happy 2022! Welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. It is 2022, which means that we need to start kind of all over again with our monthly challenges. So we're going to go back through December's challenge, December from all of last year ago, which seems like forever, but alas, it was only a few days ago. So you guys submitted in your hundreds. I have had to remove quite a few entries from the challenge just because there were like multiple duplicates. So like duplicates, but then, then more and then more. And so basically I've just removed all of the entries for those individuals. If you're wondering where is mine, then uh, you know the chances are that that was probably what had happened so double check that you're not copying all of your hashtags again and again and again okay right so let's get stuck in if you're new here then hi I'm Jess I am a international multi-award winning portrait photographer and every single month I set out a challenge for anybody who wants to to enter an image over on Instagram using our hashtag which we'll get onto kind of like at the end of the video and then every single month on the first Friday wherever physically possible I sit down and go through all of the entries this usually takes me about two to three hours and then there's you know another three hours and then there's another couple of hours and it's a very long process so please if you could congratulate my efforts and at least hit the like button on this video that would be super also if you want to then you know subscribe and stuff and I'll see you again it's 2022 like I've said about seven times by now in this video so we need to go through these images now in the November challenge review which happened at the beginning of December we did go through kind of a new method we kind of like trialed it I really like this method, so did a lot of you, and there was a lot of feedback on how we could kind of alter it to make it a little bit better. As always with these review videos, we cannot get to everybody. We can't go through every single image. So what I try and do is kind of like group stuff together, assess them as a group, and then kind of go through the ones as they get further and further and further towards the winners of the three pins. So as always with our challenges, there are three pins up for grabs. There is the gold pin, the bronze pin, and and the silver pin. And I feel like I've not even mentioned this before. Our members magazine, Tog Talk, here's January's copy as a preview with Django on the back. In our magazine, the reason why we request images from you guys when you win stuff in the pins is because basically you're all featured. Can you see that? I don't know. Can you see that? So the winning images are often printed in Tog Talk. So, you know, the members all get to know which image did really well, why it did well, and also some notes from whoever was the photographer to say why they created it. And to be honest, I think that that's super. Totally inspirational. One of my favorite features in the Tog Talk magazine, actually. So yeah, so if you're wondering, wait, hang on, whoa, hold up. How do I get a magazine? then uh, you know you basically it's a members only magazine so it's for anybody who's part of our premium membership I'll link something above on that right now but yeah every quarter once every three months you'll get a magazine delivered to your door if you opt for printed and posted on your subscription sign up or via a digital version if not I would recommend getting it in print just saying so anyway December's challenge. So December's challenge was seasons. And the reason why I'm kind of grimacing is because these images are amazing. They genuinely are probably some of the best images that you guys have created and submitted. So super well done. Now that does mean that we're not going to be able to get to everybody. And there's going to be a lot of people who fall between the something's clearly not quite right. And these are amazing, perfect images. There's going to be loads of people in that middle section. That does not mean that your image is not good. Okay, it doesn't mean that your image is not good. It just means that on this occasion, with the other images that are involved, your image just didn't have the same amount of impact to me personally, because this is all just my opinion. And so don't get disheartened about that, okay? Genuinely, please don't get disheartened. So, 
in Lightroom, I've pulled in all of the Instagram screenshots. There are, however many there are on the screen right now, over a hundred, and then there are, I think this is like 38. There's 38 that we can't see. So what we're gonna do is run through my groupings and kind of just quickly walk through them, and then I'll get onto my shortlist, and then I'll get onto the short shortlist, and then I'll get onto the winners, which I've not decided yet, but we're gonna work that out, you know? And then we'll go through January's challenge information, which is always at the end of these videos and linked in the blog post below. So, oh, where do we start? Okay, right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my groups, okay? So, let's go with red group first. Red group to me means nothing, but I've kind of gone through and kind of categorized stuff into different camps. Red group is where the image that was submitted has got a focus issue, okay? So these images um, that we can see on the screen right now, the focus in this one is, is over on this tree kind of here. And then on this one, the focus is right on the end of the little nose. Super shots, but unfortunately, because they're not in focus at the right place on the eye, closest eye, ideally, unfortunately, they can't get any further than this point, okay? So that's the red group. Then we've got green group. Green group is a really difficult one for me to kind of explain because there's not really anything wrong with green group. Green group has some things in it that with a little bit of an editing tweak would have made the world of difference, okay? So up here we've got, well there's two, let me let me subgroup this, okay? So these two here have got blown highlight situations. Actually you guys have done really well to guard your images from the blown highlight group. Um, there is only literally two images that have got some tiny highlight issues. So just be super careful, even if you're doing a silhouette, even if you're doing something that's super bright, unless it is a white background isolation, I realistically, that's kind of the only situation, there shouldn't be blown highlights, completely lost data in the image. So on this one, just a few here, and on this one, just some on the little schnozzle there. So that's those as a kind of like subgroup. Let me just go ahead and whiz down to these guys. For uh, this image, this image, this image, this image, so let let me subgroupify these again. For these ones, there's a white balance situation happening. So this one is too blue. This one is too kind of magenta warm. This one is too green cyan. And this one has kind of got two things happening, but I think it's in the isolation of the log to make the log greener that's then made the dog's chest go greener too. So that's a color situation happening there. That, by the way, is an awesome shot with a tiny little bit of work that could have won the whole thing. So super, super work. Okay, so then the ones that I've not run through from here, this one just needed a little bit more emphasis, a little bit more light on the front of the subject and a little bit of warmth coming through there in the skin tone. Skin tones, super hard, really, really hard. So I get that. This one I really like, but we've got two different shades of yellow happening because of the effect. And the effect has gone slightly purple to kind of like magenta blue on the outside. And it it's kind of taking away from the subject, but I really like it, super sweet. Just make sure that if you're keeping your colors in, this yellow should ideally be the same hue but also technically contrast and saturation as the yellow that's at the other side, okay? And then this one, I really, really like this one. Just a couple of editing things here. So we can see that the dog was on leash. The leash, the collar is pulled slightly to the side. So we just wanna make sure that we're not A, having that obviously kind of pulling the dog to one side, but also just make sure that we're kind of removing other bits that are happening. Absolutely gorgeous photograph. And for top tips, I'll link a video to it above. It would be great to have that tree that's sat behind here removed out. It's not too difficult. I'll link a video above to removing things from behind the subject in quite a straightforward way. That would be super useful. Okay, so that's green group. Whizzling along. Whizzling. Does that even mean anything? Okay, so we've got purple group here. Purple group. Guys, you guys brought it. Oh my goodness. All of these images are only in here because compositionally something is working against you. Okay, so in most of the situations, the crop is just too tight. It's just that little bit too tight. So you guys did ask for when I go through them to have them big. So let me go ahead and, you know, meet that expectation. A little bit too tight there on the bottom. This one, gorgeous just shot just a little bit too tight all around again similar thing this one oh beautiful just a little bit too tight top and bottom mainly the proximity of this palsy to the bottom bit too tight top and bottom bit too tight to the bottom bit too tight all around a little bit too tight all around a little bit too tight all around mainly on the left 
little bit too tight, little bit too tight on the bottom, little bit too tight top and bottom, little bit too tight top and bottom, little bit too tight on the bottom. But on this one, I actually really like the general feel of this. It's just, there's just a lot of space sat above and we could have come in a little bit to balance the bottom with this expanse here at the left side and just close that off a little bit and that would have had so much more impact. Beautiful image. A little bit too tight on the bottom, a little bit too tight all round, a little bit too tight all round, a little bit too tight on the bottom, a little bit too tight on the bottom. This one a little bit too much space on the left. It's okay at the bottom, but a little bit more would have been helpful. This one, a little bit too much space on the right. Could have done with a little bit of that on the left and a little bit underneath. A little bit too tight top and bottom, a little bit too tight on the bottom and then all around again. This one could have done with less space on the left and immediately the image would have been so much stronger. So just like kind of... Really nicely edited though. A little bit too tight top and bottom. Remember doggo, whatever it is, looking upwards, space should be upwards. So you wanna give them room to move and look into. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. A little bit too tight all around, a little bit too tight on the left, a little bit too tight top and bottom, too tight top and bottom, and then we're back at the beginning, okay? So I, I was determined to get through as many of these as possible and we're going for it. Okay, so let's look at blue. These guys are the blue guys. Blue guys, oh gorgeous, got two things happening in the blue group. Number one, it could be that the background is really quite messy, i.e. there's a lot going on, and we're losing the subject within that, so we'll have a look at that. Or it could be that we're losing the subject in the scene because maybe the photographer could have ensured that there was a bit more light on the subject, or using editing, using your radials, using your eye edits. I'll link an eye edit that was released just in December above. Those things could have been really, really helpful here, okay? So um, I'm not gonna go through every single one. There's a couple that I really wanna pick at because I think this has the potential to be absolutely stunning. I love the vibe in this one. Could have just have done with a little bit more warmth, a little bit more light on the, on the face, a little bit of an eye edit wouldn't have made a world of a difference on this image. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Let's pick a different one, let's pick a different one. I think this one is worth a mention because I think it's an awesome shot. It's just that down here, this is like the darker point of the image, the brightest points up here, our eye immediately goes to the lightest point of the image. That should be on or around the subject or on or around an element of the story. And in this instance, the story's happening down here. So actually up there, all it's doing is it's taking us away from the subject and I want to be pulling right back down again. Amazing shots in this group. Just that little bit of a balance between subject, story, subject, background, eyes, subject, that balancing patch. Just needed a little bit more work on these ones, okay? Oh my goodness. So that leaves us with them. Okay, so we're down to 81. So then this is the bit where we've got a lot sat in the middle and I had to just pick based on the theme, you know, is the theme and the impact and just general kind of like comparing images to one another within the whole set. And that was really, 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 really hard to do. But, but, I ended up here. So I know it didn't look like there was a lot in the transition, but this is technically my defined shortlist. Okay? It's quite short, isn't it? There's like 70 something images. This is everything that just ticked all of those boxes for me. No issues, nothing that, that I would look at and go, you know, okay, we really need to work on that. So then it just came down to personal preference and impact and utilizing all of the knowledge that we've gained everywhere else, that brought us to here, which is my short shortlist. And to be honest with you guys, I have not picked a winner because it's really difficult. But at the moment we're, we're down here. So these images here have got sharpness all in the right place. They meet the theme. We can tell the season that's been kind of portrayed in the image. We've got some landscape, we've got wildlife, Life. we've got posed, we've got, you know, all sorts happening um, and some super cute ones as well. It doesn't all have to be kind of serious and contemplative. Okay, so at this point here, everybody on this screen and the previous screen just, you know, amazing, amazing work, mind blown. But this screen, you guys just knocked it out the park. There is something in each of these images that makes me feel something. And that's something that's very, very difficult to explain in kind of like picking the needs more space or this, the color or whatever. It's a feel. It's just, oh, you know, a, 
it hits me in the feels in some way, shape or form. Maybe it's humour, maybe it is, you know, an emotion, maybe it's sadness, maybe it's feeling lost. It doesn't really matter what it is. The point is, is that these guys are all in this set because it made me feel something. Okay, so we're going beyond impact here. We're going beyond the technical basis. We're going beyond composition and we're getting into really making a viewer feel something. So at this point, really, it could be anybody's shot, okay? I'm gonna go through and just super quickly have a quick look once again to remind myself of the images. I don't know why, but that one, that one, that one's deep. I love that. So it's just technically on point. Lovely story, good composition. This one I really like. Uh, this is super sweet. You, you could have a bit of a colour cast coming up on the dog, but colour is still correct. That's gorgeous little autumnal shot. Uh, obviously, Christmas, I really like that one. And the highlights are exactly where they need to be. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. And that makes me smile, okay? So, my reactions to those again solidified my decision for me. I just need to kind of allocate them in my head. All right, I'm going for it. I'm going for gold. Gold. Just need to look at a couple of them again. This one, the only thing that I would say would really improve this one would be if we had the foreground in more focus, whether you focus stacked that, composited it, those would be the methods that I would use personally. That would make this image just core, oh, just literally as close to perfect as you could possibly get. Okay, so we've done gold. God. Oh. This is, this is tough. I'd like to know what, at this point, guys, using the, the the kind of directions of first row, second row, third row, and then one, two, three, four, five for each row, what do you think? What do you think the order should be? I'd love, to, I genuinely would love to know that. So please do add that into the comments below. Dan? Dan? Yeah. Can I borrow you, please? I oh, just need some help. No, choose it. Yeah. Okay. I've done gold, well done. just all of them could be silver. I d <sighs> Seasons, isn't it? Yeah. They're all technically solid, they're all compositionally solid, they're all like colour balanced solid. Everything is solid. I'm gonna have to push you for an answer. Okay. This one kind of like hits me in the feels. Yeah, I, like, I do like that one. So I've gone gold and then I need a silver and a bronze, but they're all good. So, Dan, what do you think about silver? Okay. Oh my goodness. Can I just say something? Mm hmm Put a curveball in there. Now that I've actually looked at them properly. Yeah. I like the one next to the bird one. This one? Yeah. Yeah. How it's I like the shot on how it's compositionally put together, like the horizon. Yeah, you see it goes like. The yeah, I I agree. I think compositionally, it's very clever. Okay, okay. No, yeah. I do you know what? This is why community and decisions are good. Make sure you do put your thoughts in the comments below, based on what I've literally just said about five minutes ago. But we're gonna go with gold. We're gonna go with silver, and we're gonna go with bronze. Let's go and find out who these people are. The images are going to be in the right order, which is helpful. Okay, you guys, you know this is the bit where I fail most astronomically about pronouncing names and getting people right, so I do apologise. For our bronze this week, we've got Jay Metzger Photography. Is that Jen? I wonder. I wonder if that's Jen. We've got Kaiser Kiddo and me. Is that right? I love this shot, hits me in the feels, and gold for this month is an image that genuinely I would be super happy with setting it within my portfolio, and that is um, I Vice. Am I, am I pronouncing that right? I do apologise if I've got them wrong, and huge, huge, huge congratulations to everybody in there. Let's look at the January challenge. So, 
before my battery dies, the, <laughs> the January challenge is macro. Macro just basically means that you're looking at something in the image and it's basically it's life size or larger. So you need to be thinking about making things super large. I'll put some more information in the blog post below because my battery is literally flashing and it's going to die. So that is the January challenge. Entry instructions, all of the rules, information for it will be in that blog post down below. So please do go ahead and give it a watch. Again, let me know your thoughts on the images within this monthly challenge and super massive, massive congratulations to not only the winners, but also everybody who entered because genuinely you blew me away. Okay, right. I'll see you soon.